Hi, I'm Kath. Welcome to WITS. This week we're filming from Monash Science Centre and we'll be talking about static electricity. To make our floating bag, we're going to need a pair of scissors, a plastic bag, two modelling balloons, the long, thin kind, a wool jumper or scarf, or some clean, dry hair, just to get our charge. To make the bag portion of our levitating bag, we just need to cut some of the bag off from the bottom, where the seam is, down to about the length of the scissors. Then we're going to cut across and now we need to just make a few legs coming out from the bottom. So if we make a few cuts along the bottom and then just pull them all the way to the top so that it rips, we end up with a few floaty legs. Then all we have to do is blow up our modeling balloons and we'll be ready to go. To get our floating bag to work, first twist your balloon around so that it goes into a circle shape. Then what we need to do is charge both your balloon and your plastic bag. You can use a wool jumper or a scarf, but I prefer to use my hair. Once you've got them all charged up, you just need to let go of the plastic bag. It doesn't like to let go. And you should be able to float it using your balloon. Ah! <laughs> At least until it sticks to something else. Once you get good at floating it, you can grab another balloon and try it with a friend. Our little floating bag trick wasn't actually a trick at all. It works because of static electricity. Last week when we talked about atoms, atoms are actually made up of three different parts. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons have a positive charge, neutrons don't have any charge at all, and electrons have a negative charge. The protons and the neutrons are in the middle of the atom, whereas the electrons are around the outside. Sometimes when we rub things together, we can rub off some of those electrons and give something a negative charge. If we have two things with opposite charges, they will attract or come together. If they have the same charge, they will repel or push away from each other. That's what was happening with our bag and our balloon. When we charged them up on my hair, my hair gave away some of its electrons, giving both of them a negative charge. Because they both have a negative charge, they try to push away from each other, and we can float our bag on top of the balloon. Hope you had fun with our floating bag trick. Make sure you show that one to your friends. Visit us on whatisthescience.com and let us know what you think, and subscribe for updates. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week on WITS.